out there, this is Steve Bishop from Rio Salado Golf Course, teaching professional out here. And today we're going to be talking about the putting grip. And the first thing that I'd like to mention is that there is a particular type of grip that I, I like to, to show people uh, that really helps to prevent breaking down of the wrists. Now, what do I mean by breaking down of the wrists? Well, when you put your hands on the club, and as you're putting your stroke, you might see a movement like this with your wrists, okay? Notice that the back of my left, of the back of my right hand is able to bend. And we don't want that. What we want is a stable wrist on both, both wrists. We want to be stable through the putting stroke, so there's no breakdown of this. Instead, what you have is smooth motion back and forth. If I just put this club out here in front of me, see it's only my shoulders basically rocking back and forth. That's the primary concept that is being taught today, that you want your shoulders to be rocking back and forth during the stroke. And I tend to agree. I don't think that you should have any sort of wrist motion in there. So we're going to talk about a grip that really helps to limit that motion of, of the wrists. And the first thing that I'd like to mention is if you look on my, old, on my uh, uh, normal grip for when you're taking a regular golf club, you'll notice that the, one of the uh, methods that I teach is called the overlap grip. And that's where the pinky of the right hand basically rests over, uh, between the knuckles of your index finger on your left hand of your right hand between these two fingers here, okay? Well, what's commonly taught for the putting stroke is actually what's called the reverse overlap, whereby the index finger of the left hand basically fits between the knuckles of either the second and third finger or the pinky and your ring finger, okay? Notice how it just fits nicely in there between those knuckles. I tend to, to move it one more up there, too, when I'm yeah. Now, one of the things that's very, very important about the putting grip is that those palms are directly opposed to each other. We don't want any sort of uh, cupping underneath like this. And if I take the grip, notice that my wrists are kind of like this. The other one is over the top here. Okay, if you look, if you look closely, you can see, again, I'm over the top. What we really want is where the wrists are uh, perfectly parallel to each other, so that the palms are perfectly parallel to each other. And again, we have the index finger between the ring and the middle finger of my right hand, okay? Now, again, the left hand tends to be up higher on the club. The right hand goes lower on the club. Some people like to do uh, the reverse grip where you have left hand low, okay? And that's pretty common, too. Um, but for today's purposes, I really want to teach you my personal uh, favorite kind of grip. And that does basically start with knowing what the reverse overlap is. And again, we have the index finger resting between the middle and the ring finger. Okay? Now, the one and only alteration is simply this. The right, finger, the right index finger points down the shaft. The left index finger basically is going to go over the tips of my, the fingers on my right hand so that now I have both my index fingers pointing opposite directions, or pointing down the shaft on opposite sides of the shaft. Now you may be asking yourself, why would I want to do that? Why would I want to put my fingers, my index fingers down the side of the shaft? Well, the reason why it stabilizes that right wrist is because if you make a fist, it's very easy to make your wrist go back and forth this way, okay? But as soon as you stick that finger out and you try to do it back this way, you'll start to feel a strain in your wrist, much more so than if you do having your, your hands closed like a fist, okay? So when we have this hand on the club like this, and we have it stretched down the side of the club, it makes it, we can still do it obviously, but now I'm gonna start to feel a little bit more strain in that, in that wrist than I would if I just had it like this, because now I can go like this and not feel any strain. But as soon as I apply that, I can't quite nearly make as much of a, of a motion with my wrist. So again, we're going to put both fingers, both index fingers, running down the shaft, okay? Again, if you look at it from the side, this is my left finger going along the shaft. And again, the right index finger going down the shaft, okay? And that creates a very, very balanced grip that allows you to minimize any sort of wrist motion.